Joining us now is Pastor Robert Jeffress from the First Baptist Church of Dallas. He is also a Fox business contributor. So, Pastor, first of all, we should mention that the executive, among the executive orders that have been signed, the many that have been signed since he became president, Joe Biden has been signing a lot of those orders that directly conflict with the teachings of the Catholic Church. Uh, so, and, and some people, some archbishops, for example, including Nancy Pelosi's archbishop in San Francisco, says that if a public policy official believes in things that the Catholic Church believes are evil, he can't take communion. Well, that's right, David, and that's why Joe Biden was denied communion just a few months ago in a, a North Carolina church. And, and look, the problem here is, is not that he goes to church. We're all glad he goes to church and that he prays. But as the Bible says, faith without works is a dead, non-existent faith. And the reason these bishops are calling him out is because his uh, public policies don't reflect what he says is his, his personal faith. And the way Biden rationalizes this, David, is in 2007 in a book, he said, well, I'm personally opposed to abortion, but I don't want to impose my beliefs on others. Well, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's like saying, I'm personally opposed to murder, but I don't want to impose those beliefs on somebody else. Look, all laws are an attempt to impose somebody's morality on society. Well, and the only question is, whose morality is it going to be? Joe Biden is choosing the immorality of Planned Parenthood and the Democrat Party rather than the morality of the Judeo-Christian faith on which this nation was built for the last 200 years. But not years. only imposing morality, but imposing the, the dictates of where our money goes. I mean, he turned his back, flipped 180 degrees on the Hyde Amendment, uh, which prohibited yes. federal money tax dollars uh, from going to directly to abortion. Of course, there were ways that, they, that the politicians managed to uh, mess around with that with Planned Parenthood. But the bottom line is he totally turned his back on that. And now people who do believe that, that abortion is murder are going to be forced to have their tax dollars pay for abortion. Well, that's exactly right. You've got the Hyde Amendment problem. You've got the Mexico City policy that he rescinded a week and a half ago that was literally, when he signed that executive order, he was signing the death warrant for millions of unborn children around the world. It is despicable what he has done. He's uh, also look, picked a fight. He's also picked a fight. Matches talk. He's also picked a fight, by the way, with some liberals, in particular feminists, who are concerned about uh, people, transsexuals, being able to run in, in, in women events. And, and nine times out of ten, they're going to win those events because uh, men are, are stronger in certain competitions than women are, just as, as a matter of biology. So a lot of feminists are upset at that. So he's, he's picked a fight with a lot of different sides here. And this is just the first two weeks, David. Imagine what it's going to be a year from now. Yeah. This is an all-out war between good and evil that hey, we see going on. Very here. quickly, before we go, Americans are pretty stressed out right now. Not only have we had about a year of this pandemic, uh, but we've had the riots. We had a very contentious election. And now we're going to go into an impeachment after all this. Is there any, I mean, you know, it, it, that's really just in terms of what Americans can withstand. How do we do yep. it? Well, look, I remember exactly one year ago this week having dinner with President Trump on the evening that he was acquitted by the Senate for his first impeachment trial. He predicted they would do it again, and that's exactly what they've done. The Democrats are so eaten up with bitterness that it's destroying this nation. They need to let go of wow. it. It's time for the Democrats to start focus on supporting their new president instead of persecuting the last one. Well, we're all stressed out. We need a break. It'd be nice not to have to go through another <laughs> impeachment. I hope it's a quick trial. Uh, Pastor, great to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Stay with us. We'll be right back.